According to the American Geriatric Society, falls are the most common and serious problem facing the elderly. Those who have an inner ear balance disorder, an estimated 35% of adults age 40 and over, also have a higher risk of falling. Medicare made screening for risk of future falls number four out of a list of 134 specific medical problems that doctors should identify in routine exams. This initiative offers a financial incentive for physicians who comply. Dr. Dennis O'Leary, a professor at the University of Southern California, developed Motion Track to measure your patient's ability to balance. Motion Track evaluates the interaction among the visual, vestibular, and somatosensory systems, predicting which of your patients are at risk of falling and helping you determine whether they need additional balance or vestibular testing or a referral to an autologist or a neurologist. Motion Track also helps to establish baselines for treatment planning and vestibular rehabilitation, as well as objective documentation of treatment outcomes for the insurance providers. Motion Track records four channels of postural sway data simultaneously. Roll, or side-to-side -side motions, and pitch, anterior-posterior movements, are collected from two lightweight sensor packets worn on the patient's head and back. Both sites function independently to record position and velocity of postural sway. Test results are automatically provided in an easy-to-read bar graph with composite percentage scores. Motion Track takes about 10 minutes to complete and requires no special room setup. The test is made up of six 20-second conditions. The first test condition evaluates the three combined sensory systems needed to maintain balance, vision, inner ear, and the sense of touch. Each additional test condition either alters or eliminates one or more of your patient's sensory systems and continues to record the degree of body sway. In conditions one and two, the patient stands on a firm surface with feet shoulder width apart. She looks straight ahead with eyes open and then closed. In conditions three and four, the patient repeats the test while standing with one foot in front of the other. In conditions five and six, the patient repeats the test while standing on a piece of foam. The foam alters the patient's proprioception input so that when she closes her eyes, the burden of stability is placed on the vestibular system alone. Maintaining good balance is essential for your patients to safely perform everyday activities. Will they function independently in their own homes? Or will they live in nursing homes? Balance is often the deciding factor.